my first programming language was basic. I think it was something like in sixth grade or something. And it was fascinating. It was very logical, problem solving. And the really fun thing about it was, you know, like you're writing software and then it actually does something. You could see a turtle move across the page or some sort of ASCII art show up on the page. So it was interesting to me compared to, you know, subjects like history or literature where you don't necessarily have something to show for your time at the end of it. So my name is Shruti Panikar. I am a software engineer. I work at Google. I work on Google Plus infrastructure software, uh, mostly writing software, allowing Google Plus features to launch. A lot of people I know, like my neighbors, my friends, they're all using these products. So I definitely feel like I am making a difference in the world. Google is a great company where engineers are valued. So I think that's sort of the bottom line, um, that as an engineer, you are respected and you don't need a specific title to you know, make you feel empowered to do things, right? It's a very engineering dominated, oriented company in a sense. So as an engineer, you have the freedom to pursue your ideas, and, you know, voice your opinions, collaborate with your peers. So there is a lot of emphasis on encouraging uh, an engineering centric behavior as opposed to your manager having to tell you, hey, this is what you're working on next week or next quarter. I think by itself gives you a lot of choice, right? You could be working on you could be working on the browser software in Chrome or you could be working on mobile stuff in Android or you could be working on social features in the social area. So at a high level I would say those are the different <laughs> domain areas one could work on. And then within those, then you have to decide how high up or down the stack, the technology stack you want to be. You could be at the very top, which could be you know things that are visible to the user. You could be even be interested in user interaction or user design, or you could be working on software that runs on the client in the browser, or you could be working a little bit further down, which is on the server side software. So stuff that's not directly running on browsers. And then you could keep going down, like, you know, you could, for example, in the search stack, you could be working on things like indexing and crawling, which is and ranking. So these are all fairly low level things, but a very complex and interesting problems. Or you could be working on a lot of parallel things like create like supporting our build infrastructure or our test infrastructure. So these are things that every product in Google needs. But technology is a field where you know, you sort of have to make an effort to keep up. I mean, things are always changing, more so than other fields in some sense. So it's important to, n to know what's happening, what the new technologies are. And it's never possible to be fully prepared. Like even when I came to Google, I knew a couple programming languages, but then it turned out that my team actually uses several other ones, and some of them are in fact were in fact developed inside Google. So Google is creating all this special technology and their own internal programming languages and technologies that there is no way I could have been prepared for when I joined the team. So you know you just have to sort of adapt to that and be prepared that you will come across new technologies and you have to learn them. I think the first thing I would say is definitely to give it an honest shot. I think that's important. Sometimes I feel like a career in technology is rejected even without them trying it. But they don't actually write software, but they already know that that's not what they want to do for a living. So I highly encourage them to, you know, just kind of get your hands dirty, just spend a few hours, try to build something, write something, make it work, see if it was interesting to you. Did you lose track of time? And if you did, it was probably interesting to you. And, and just observe that and give it a chance.